Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a reading for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. If you wanna get your own personal reading, head over to the community tab here on YouTube, grab a coupon code, and then head over to the website and book your reading there. Okay, so I offer phone or Zoom readings, I offer video readings, okay? And then you, you can get your one question, one answer reading uh, via text, the number below, or you can book on the website and you'll get your answer via email, all right? So let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Aquarius, um, this reading is about blockages okay what's blocking you no one else you in love and then what's blocking you in career finance your business if you have one the business of you you know you are your business right so let's talk about it we'll talk about love first because that's what everybody came here for <laughs> okay um all right so you have shaman okay showing up I really like these cards. They're so earthy and pretty. Peacekeeper. And then you have Autumn. Okay. All right. So Aquarius, what the cards are saying is that what you are not doing is trusting. Okay. You're not trusting the universe. You're not trusting in divine time uh, alignment and timing. Um, you are trying to manipulate. You know, m manipulate just means to... Uh, mold shape whatever you know your love life so if you're doing it then spirit is out of it because we have free will and um they're not going to overpower you so for some of you you're just not trusting in higher forces you say with your words you verbalize that you are but then your actions don't line up with your words if you are trusting in uh, higher forces then your actions and your words will align. Also for some of you, um, you say you want one thing, but then your your energy, your actions are contrary to what you say you really want. If you want one person who's monogamous, you wanna get married, blah, 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 but you're dating 10 different people, you're dating five different people, you can't focus on anything in that type of energy. So your actions may be contrary to what it is you say you really want, what you're putting out to the universe. Therefore, universe is kind of taking a step back because they're saying, okay, well, well the Aquarius is not trusting uh, in, in us right now. Aquarius is just doing, um, engaging, coming up with stuff, embarking on, and we're just gonna let Aquarius do that and, uh, you know, We'll jump in when we are asked to, when we are um, called upon, okay? And then also for some of you, it's like, um, you're definitely holding on to something, okay? You feel like you have given your power away to maybe people, places, things, definitely we're talking about love for, so people who took advantage of you, right? Therefore, you feel like you have to be in complete control. And if control looks like making all of these different uh, milestones or setting all these different boundaries or stipulations and, and so forth, then you will do that. It, it, control also looks like if it's not shaping up the way you want it to shape up, then you're out of there. Instead of saying, this is another person they're going to move and act and say how they feel how they are you know i need to kind of maneuver with that if it's something that is completely you know um i completely disagree with that is egregious then of course i'm out the door but if this is something that energy i can work with then i need to work with it okay that's what the shaman is saying okay and then the peacekeeper so it talks about let go of the need to be right so for some of you you have this warrior inside of you, you know, and it wants to surface or resurface, especially when you feel threatened. You have been in situations where you were taken advantage of, lied on, um, just um, maybe even how somebody looked at you in terms of uh, 
what you brought to the table. They didn't see your value. Okay. It says that and, and you feel the need to defend yourself. So you may even come off defensive. You don't know until you ask, right? Um, interview, interview exes, interview people. How is your energy? Maybe there's some things you are doing uh, subconsciously or unconsciously um, that is contrary to what it is you say you want. Uh, here is a, an example. Um, years ago, I used to, um, I used to have a, you know, like the, the driveway, the your garage or whatever, but I always just parked in the driveway. But, uh, and I, I lived alone and um, I would park my car in the driveway, but I would kind of park it sideways so another car can fit there. And um, a cousin of mine had just come over to visit and we were just talking about life and talking about guys or whatever. And we were talking about how we we're gonna manifest, it was years ago. And uh, she said, well, you know, what you can do is start to park your car straight so that, cause it was a two car garage or, you know, it was able so that uh, two cars can fit in the driveway. So she said, so that you are sending the message to the universe that you're ready for someone to, you know, be able to park alongside of you, to be able to maybe embark on life with you, but for you to just, you know, kind of, park your car in a way where no one can um, park in your driveway. You know, it was in, it was kind of indicative of how I was coming off. You know, I'm saying I want something, but then my actions are contrary. So it's like, maybe you're doing some things that are holding you back, Aquarius, and I don't know your life, but it, only you would know. Um, maybe you meet people and you're still standoffish or you, you're not open. Um, you allow this person to be open with you and bring you into the fold and maybe you're not reciprocating not as much you still you know we all have our uh, timing and boundaries but at the same time you need to um your actions and your words need to line up um some of you have that warrior type defensive energy up because you have been hurt you are distrusting of people initially or you may go into situations uh, pessimistically, not even, you know, thinking it's going to work out. Um, you may even be in, engaging with people from your past and you feel the need to, um, speak your truth, uh, get the truth out. You feel like maybe someone lied on you or they just, they, they created this narrative that was wrong. Um, that was just a, an outright lie. It was egregious. Therefore, um, the warrior spirit comes out, but it says you need to be in the energy of saying, you know what, in the end, the truth will prevail because you know, that's what I'm about. That's who I am. And I'm going to keep the peace. Yes, I can turn up. I can take this to a thousand, but I am not, you know, I'm going to come off differently um, because some of these people are waiting for you to do that. Maybe even, you know, what you have in this warrior type spirit and you be on, on edge and on guard and defensive some people have grown accustomed to familiar with you being in that energy and when they ha have seen that you changed you shifted your perspective it's going to be kind of a slap in their face or kind of a, sh a shock to their system because they're expecting you to be overly emotional and not keep the peace okay because they know that they lied on you and they know that you know that they lied on you so imagine that you know um so yeah and this could be in all love relationships so that could be family that could be romantic it could be anything friends so the cards are saying what is blocking you from love and love relationships is the need to be right surrender it and and then you'll see things shift okay because if you're different then the other person or people have to show up different or when they show up the same they're met with you know you being different you you know they're met with indifference i guess um and they're gonna have to kind of uh live in that and that's going to be the truth of the matter when, when you're not over the top when you're not trying to prove anything to this person or prove uh, your value or, or anything of that nature so then we have autumn okay um it says release old and rest okay so some of you you may be seeing ravens, you know, blackbirds, ravens, um, maybe even crows, but definitely ravens. 
Autumn talks about the season when you wear the trees and the, the shrubbage, you know, greenery, they're releasing all of that. You know, they're, they're letting their leaves fall off um, because they're getting ready for, you know, a tough time or a heavy time. Some of you are holding on to the, the heavy or holding on what, holding on to what could become heavy. You're not being like the trees and you're releasing what would hold you back from growth. See, if the trees kept their leaves during winter, um, then they would have snow piled on them. They will fall. They will fall down. They would not live. They would not grow. And this is indicative of what you need to do, Aquarius. Release and let it go so that you can grow. Some of you are holding on to grudges. Some of you are holding on to deep-seated issues. It's like you need to let go. You know, you need to really release. You might need to sit with a practitioner, a health practitioner, someone who you get who could really talk you through who could really give you um real world advice to use in different situations but you need to do the work so that you can grow because holding on to having this hard exterior is not good for you um also don't i'm hearing like some of you don't transform who you are you know like maybe you feel like you can't be good to people you can't be nice to people because when you're that then you get taken advantage of you got to hold yourself back you got to play all these games you have all this different strategy you got to do if you feel like you need to do that with any person any particular person or group of people then you know then you're in that energy of trying to manipulate the narrative manipulate the situation and you'll always be doing that you know it's not going to be a one-time thing and then bam you know these people are in line no it'll always be you playing a game you know and if you don't want to do that then just disengage you don't need that you need to be around people where you can show up as you if you're nice and you're giving then you need to be able to be comfortable being nice and giving now are people going to reciprocate in the same manner as you no but you don't give and you don't and you aren't nice just so you can get something back okay it is a part of you and it is what it is okay so let's look at uh, and these are the things that's holding you back aquarius you need to uh release and, and rest let some things rest you're still in that warrior fight type energy because you've been hurt you know you've been hurt deeply and it, it is hard for you to move past that right so um let's see if aquarius takes let's see no let's get some advice for you here the hottest love has the coldest end. Yeah, so something started real hot in your in your love life, or it seemed very promising, but then it kind of fizzled out. Um, it, it grew cold, or you grew cold, or someone um, turned, shifted, changed on you, and you went to complete polar opposite, from great to just bad, from sugar to shit, you know? And um, maybe that was very devastating, maybe even traumatic for some of you, Let's see what else. Um, in the end, you tried and you cared and sometimes it's enough. Yeah. So it's like some of you are holding on and harboring the feelings of dis being disappointed, maybe even being blindsided. Devastation here. You got to let that go. This is like Ten of Swords type of energy where you just, you're not able to cope with. You may push it down. You may not deal with it. And that's why it's still there. You're still holding on to it. You also gave your power to something or someone else. You left something with someone or you just gave and uh, you just kept giving and you didn't get either anything or you got very little in return. Therefore, you just you be you became powerless, you know. Um, yeah. So the last card, you want a person who comes into your life by accident, but stays on purpose. OK, right. So trust divine timing. Trust that the universe has your highest good, you know, you know, uh, in the forefront. Okay. Trust, trust that you're going to meet your person. Don't try to manipulate situations to make people stay or make people like you or this or that, or trying to change you. You want people who will find you like you turn into love and they want to stay there just because they want to stay there on purpose. They don't want to stay there because they're being either, you know, manipulated to stay there or you're, um, you know, something about you, you know, you keep trying to sprinkle, uh, gold glittery dust on you in the relationship. Like look over here, you know, like you, you, you're trying to lure and you're trying to keep somebody's attention on you. If you got to do all of that, all I would say, I, I can't tell you not to do it. And I, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't listen to me, but 
what I'm saying is how you start is how you finish. If it was a rat race getting this person, then that's how it will finish. And meaning you will always be doing that. If it if it's always you um, doing a song and dance for this person, then that'll, that's if you started year one, song and dance, year two will be song and dance, year, year 10, you will still be you know, song and dance. It's, it, you'll never have a break until you decide, okay, I can't do this anymore. So keep in mind how you start is how you finish, all right? Um, you set the precedence for the relationship, right? Okay, so Aquarius, what is blocking you in money? Okay, so you need to simplify, okay? So you need to let something in and then put all of your energy focus direction into one thing or two things or you just need to simplify something is too complicated you're trying to bring on too many components uh, maybe you're, you're coming up with an idea but you're trying to start it on level 10 and you're not really trying to start at level one and then build upon so you need to simplify and then also what is blocking you in money and career is healing. You need to schedule some healing work. And we talked about that in love and romance. A lot of people like to think that they can isolate their entire life, every aspect of their life, my personal uh, life, and then my business, and then my family, and then my, you know, if you're having problem in, in one aspect or one area, it eventually will bleed over into all other areas. So that's, that talks about alignment. If one thing is out of alignment, then it seems as if everything else is gonna be kind of funky too. Think about, you know, if you were in a building, you know, where floor six is out of alignment, do you wanna be in that building? That building might fall down, it might collapse. And that's how some of you are within yourself. Some aspect of your life is out of alignment, but you're trying to hold on and keep everything in alignment over here. It, it eventually it's going to bleed over. You got to deal with everything that re, that in regards to you as a whole. If my business and professional life is a wreck, and I'm I'm probably not doing so well in love and romance either, and vice versa, and family matters. You know, so it's like let me get things into alignment that's why they say you know um a lot of times when you start to walk in your life purpose when you start to do what it is you're supposed to do in this life then everything kind of just falls in alignment so when you aren't doing what you know you're supposed to be doing for work for to earn income then it seems as if everything is kind of frazzled even in love and family relationships if you're not happy in one if you're not in alignment in one that it, it just bleeds over so uh, a lot of times when you find people who are doing what they love to do and they have made a business or a career out of it they probably have a happy family life i'm not saying there are exceptions to the rules but i'm just saying it, it typically everything kind of just falls okay so you need to schedule some healing work uh because also some things that happen in your career and finance maybe you've had a tough time maybe there has been roller coaster moments up and down you just didn't know you had some really high highs and some really low lows that has it has been traumatic you know it has been it has taken a toll on you whether you want to admit it or not then we have aligned action can't make this stuff up so you need to get in alignment okay and it says that the universe is aligning things for you to take the next step take that leap of faith here uh it also says once you do this work then the universe will align things for you okay right now you you need to do a bit more work <laughs> and then um it says that the universe will meet you where you are you know once you do the work but imagine you our parent the parents out there who are listening to this imagine giving your teenage child 17 18 year old child um their inheritance today whatever that may be let's say we'll just give it a dollar amount five hundred thousand dollars what do you think they will do with it some of you have really bright smart well-functioning high-functioning teenagers they would invest and save and blah 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 i get it but a lot of us at 17 18 years old we don't have that capability we're just not ready for that level of responsibility that level of um 
you know, maturity that will be needed to handle that, that type of money. Therefore, it's like the universe is saying, look, we got so much aligned for you. We got so much in, in a store for you that you're not in alignment. You're not ready for it. If we were to give you it, whatever it is, if we were to give you it now, you would fumble it. You would, uh, you would, uh, squander it for some of you. Okay. So it's like, you got to do the work on you so that when opportunity, so when you are met with opportunity, well, look, when opportunity is met with preparation, there is success. Okay. So you have to be met. So you have to be, um, prepared. And some of you are just not prepared. That's why the opportunity hasn't presented itself because you will not be successful. And the universe isn't in the business of setting people up for failure. It, they're just not. I can, I, I'll put every, um, every dollar in all my bank accounts on that. I believe in that. The universe is not going to set you up for failure. It just, it's just not going to happen. But we will, we'll set ourselves up and that's okay. Because uh, as long as you keep waking up, you got another chance, right? If you don't wake up, then we got another, we got something else to talk about. So anyway, um, keep in mind, just keep moving and get, and get in alignment, do the healing work. So this is what's holding you back in career and finance. Okay. Also, lastly, you got an, a card of 11 and 11 is the, the Aquarius, the star card. Um, well, the 11th house is what, uh, the Aquarius, uh, rules here responsibility. I'm not a victim. I can't make this stuff up. Okay. So, and we just talked about that. Maybe the universe is saying you're not ready right now. You need to get ready because you're going to have to be re responsible for what we're going to give you, you know, and you're going to be judged for that also. So they want you to be in alignment so that when this responsibility is bestowed upon you, you're, you're able to um, do well with it, do good with it. All right. Um, this, this is going to affect friends, family, large groups of people. And that's why the universe really wants you to be, um, in aligned action. Okay. Don't delay, get yourself together, do the healing work first, simplify. So, uh, let's see if we get some more advice for yet yeah, seeking and finding. It's like some of you need to go on this, uh, this search in terms of, uh, maybe career and finance. What you're looking for is looking for you back to life purpose. Some of you just don't feel like you're doing what you were called to do, what you're, um, what you were put here for. And you need to go on that soul seeking journey here. Okay. Some of you also going to find a soulmate and it, it could be platonic that will help you, um, get into alignment. Also family changes. So, um, what is really holding you back is maybe some family changes. You want to move or you want to make a move or what you're doing is really going to, um, it could involve maybe a family member, uh, something about move and family member. And then also whatever you're going to do is going to impact, not just you, but a group of people could be family or familiar people. Also, you need to get some rest. It's funny. You had rest here also in love here. Um, so get some rest. You've been pounding at something. You've been going, going, going hard. Also rest. Okay. So when we talk about that word, we're just, we're not just talking about, Oh, go to sleep. You know, no, we're sleeping. If you weren't sleeping, then you wouldn't be alive. Okay. You, so you're sleeping, but you're not resting. Okay. And you're not letting something rest here too. Um, some of you are overworked. Therefore there is no motivation. There's no inspiration. Um, some of you, um, you're not listening to, you can't listen to your intuition because you, you, your life is so clouded, especially in your career and finance. And that's why they're saying simplify. Yeah. You've got to do that Aquarius. And, and then, um, it looks like some doors are open for you. You have great responsibility because, um, you are the people's, you are, you know, the humanitarian, you are the, the person for the people, you know? So it's just like, um, you need to let something, also, you need to let something go. Okay. You're not a victim here. You know, it happened, whatever it was, you lost it. You, you got it back or you're getting it back or you just need to let something rest here. This is like, um, this could even be blockages in your money because of some family issues. Okay. You and family members don't see eye to eye. Um, you got to let it rest here. Let's get you some, um, future cards. Okay. So we're going to pull a Kipper deck 
if Aquarius takes the advice of the cards for love, what can the Aquarius expect? This isn't gonna be the most popular reading because it talks about what you need to do for you, Aquarius. And it's not talking about the other person and how toxic and drama feel they are. But, you know, some of us want to change. Some of us want to change. So, you know, let's see. If Aquarius takes the advice, expect it, what you are expecting will come to you maybe within one to two years. Okay. So if you're expecting a lover, if you're expecting a husband or a wife, it will come to you. There'll be uh, something something will close out, maybe a negative a negative time, a time for healing or a time to be alone. You'll, you'll be able to partner. If Aquarius takes the advice of the cards for love, what will they get? Okay, yeah, you'll get concerned. All right, so somebody, um, you can let go of this depression too, um, overthinking, uh, you know, overworking something or trying to, this is somebody who overthinks and trying and tries to, they create all these different narratives in their mind. So if you take the advice of the cards and you just uh, let go and trust the universe, trust that they ha the universe has your um, your highest uh, purpose here, then you'll get what you want. And also for some of you, you come out of that depressive state that you get into where you think negatively. Yeah. Wow, this flipped over. If you take the advice of the cards, you can have absolute change here. It says fast change. You're just throwing stuff in the car. You know, getting out of there. Like something can change for you rather quickly here. Um, one more card for what Aquarius will uh, can expect in the near future if they take the advice of the cards to let go. You can, so a situation here where you, um, maybe you were given something, opportunity, concern over and over again, you'll be able to let that go because it says release the old and rest here. Maybe some uh, relationship person who always comes up in your mind, who maybe um, stalks your energy. You'll be able to let that go. Um, you'll be able to put something at rest. Maybe this this hard exterior again. Um, maybe because uh, this is this is an energy where you'll be able to let something go that you couldn't let go because you wanted to say what you needed to say to this person. You wanted to get them told and get them right and all of this stuff here, but it really doesn't matter, you know? So it says, if you take the advice of the cars, you don't get to a place of being the peacekeeper. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that they're lying or that they have created this false narrative about me or about the relationship. It just doesn't matter anymore. And you're going to really let something go. It's something, something is going to be a real surefire no go for you. Like getting upset, arguing about stuff that people are committed to, um, lying about if somebody is committed to something, then you really can't change their mind. Let them be committed to telling lies. Let them be committed to not liking you. Let them be committed to this. Okay. And you're going to get to a place where you really just going to let it go and say, you know what? These people aren't for me. I'm not for them. It is what it is. I'm no longer going to try to defend myself. I'm going to be the peacekeeper. You know, uh, it is what it is. I don't have to defend the truth. The truth is the truth. All right, so if Aquarius takes the advice of the cards in career and finance, what can the Aquarius expect? Uh, whoa, unexpected money, very nice. Okay, so uh, maybe even an unexpected message that comes to you about money, opportunity here, it's really good. So, uh, un excuse me, unexpected income, that's different. So this is income is money that you earn. All right, so um, you'll, People will reach out to you to do some work or to get a job, or you can expect um, a message about earning income here. It could come out of nowhere. Now, the unexpected income is not a whole lot of money, but it is money, okay? Uh, don't, who's turning down money, right? You know, um, you can expect for uh, something that will allow you to maintain your independence also with, with this turning into a nine. Um, so that's really good. So if you take the advice of the cards, a uh, simplify, do the healing work, get in alignment, um, and accept responsibility for whatever happened or what didn't go right or whatever you can uh, move forward here. All right. Let's see if Aquarius it, thoughts. Okay. So, um, yeah, a lot of people will be thinking about you, thinking about what you do, thinking about your business, thinking about, um, 
a lot of people might even be jealous or just curious what you're doing because you're going to be in a very um, high vibe and energy. Also, you're going to be putting out some quality service or product or whatever it is you do. And if you don't have your own business, then at work, people will start to look at you and see that you are a high um, performer or uh, you're very productive and uh, they'll start to see your value here. And um, also I'm seeing like some people will start to look over your resume and see uh, value in your resume, see value in you. Let's see. Wow. Came out immediately. If you take the advice of the cards, you will be met with sudden wealth. So a little money comes in that will sustain you. And then someone will say, wow, that Aquarius is doing some real high quality work in their business um, with other people. Um, how they work well in groups is really what is really it goes well it, it goes good and suddenly you'll you'll be met with alignment 777 talks about um, maybe even life purpose or being in alignment okay so it just seems as if you'll be on the right path here okay this looks so good Aquarius one more card for what the Aquarius can expect if they take the advice of the cards here um, yeah, journey, journey. So it's like you could even move, make a move. Something will be arriving to you or you'll be departing with it. Okay. I, I can't help but see 1111, something that you've manifested here will come to you. All right. Something that you've manifested here will come to you, Aquarius. Great responsibility. Okay. You'll be over lots of people. Maybe you'll have a business where you'll have several different um, employees. You'll have seven different, several, uh, or maybe seven different, because we got seven, 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 seven different departments within your business. I don't know. It just seems as if a new way of existing, a new, um, this is like maybe even newfound wealth here because it, it arrives to you. So it's like you go from maybe, um, yeah, you go from having just enough. Or just a little and then you go to suddenly having wealth here um, just because you got you took action here and you were ready for it, you were prepared for it um, you will have success because you are um, you were met with the opportunity and you were prepared very nice you can something that you you have been doing will be doing for one to two years it looks like it's gonna turn around for you very nice um, I am going to leave. Where is it? Where are we? 32 minutes. Jeez. All right. So last cards of advice with Aquarius moving forward. Overall advice for Aquarius moving forward. Okay. Nine. Oh, so, so recluse. So you need to kind of just, um, go into kind of hermit mode and rethink, regroup, um, uh, shift your personal philosophy about maybe career and finances and then love and romance here. Is it, are, so this card talks about, it wants you to ask the question, are you getting the outcomes that you really want? That is, that's the main question. If you're not getting the outcome that you want, then you are the common denominator. So you got to go inside and, and think about, okay, what can I change about me so that I can get a different outcome? I can't keep showing up as the same person doing the same things and expecting something different. Pause. Yeah. We got a lot of cards of just going within, taking some a step back. This card talks about why haven't I had what I really want? Some of you have fumbled opportunities, maybe because you were not ready for them but they presented themselves to you and took advantage of them anyway. And it was devastating to you that it just didn't work or it wasn't working or it's not working. Some of you need to, this is like self-evaluation, uh, self-reflection, and then analysis. You know, you have to analyze um, you because once again, common denominator is you. And this could be in love and romance. This could be in career and finance or both. You know, you just got to, take a step back and say, me, what am, what am I doing? You know, what, how can I change this? Let's see. Destiny. How can you change your destiny, the trajectory that you're on? Um, how can you supercharge it? How can you get there faster? How can you move that wheel of destiny here? Um, how can you move in different circles or meet different people? Or do you need to network or do you need to, uh, Maybe talk to somebody who can bring about change in your life here. Very nice. And one last card for um, 
what the Aquarius, what advice we have for Aquarius. Okay, abundance, very nice. So like Empress energy. So it looks like you check, you if you go within and you start to get real and true with yourself about yourself, am I good with money? Maybe not. Am I good in relationships? Maybe not. And then you start to get more detailed. Why am I not good in relationships? Because I do this and not, not, we're not going to talk about the other person. Yes, the other person did something wrong, whatever. But we're going to talk about what Aquarius did or didn't do or how you reacted or you didn't react or you were overreacted, whatever. We're just going to talk about you. Um, the other person is for another day, but you, okay? So it's just like the cards are seeing you, 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 you. Don't bring anybody up. Don't say, well, I slapped him because I caught him cheating. Okay, yes, he was cheating, but you slapped him. Was that the best response? Did it get you what you wanted? You, you know, like, or uh, he didn't call me back or she didn't call me back. So I went out with another guy and I got on the date with the other guy and he started calling me back, blowing me up. You know, overthinking things, overreacting, slow down, pause. I don't know what your life is or how it is, but you've got to start to think about what you've done or what what you have uh, or have done, are doing in situations that add to um, maybe the outcome, and it's not the the most favorable one. Okay, for both parties involved. Okay, if you want to be with someone, if you really want to be with them then in everything in the times where you are not getting along with that person in your mind it should you should be thinking about the end game or the end result and it's that you want to be with them if you're going to look at every situation um isolated and ex you know be exclusively like oh i'm mad so i'm just going to say anything i want to act crazy i want to do all i'm going to just be over the top then how is that conducive to the outcome you say you want and that's being with this person for a very long time you know it's not so you have to look at it as a whole a grand scheme okay i am upset i have the right to be upset let me think about how i need to express my upsetness okay um and it could just be as easy as telling a person i am upset most times if you have somebody who's decent they'll say why and then you need to verbalize, not in actions, not in theatrics, not in craziness, not in cutting off, not in walking away, but you need to verbalize why you're upset. And this person could even help you get through, you know, being upset with them. Like, okay, well, I understand why you're upset. Do you see my, you know, you can at least have a conversation because some of you, don't even know how to do that or you're not doing that um you're walking away you want to dominate and you're doing that not because you're a bad person but you're doing it out of a defense mechanism like if i can if if i can say what i need to say if i be the warrior you know and not the peacekeeper then then i dominate and, and they stick around and they still stay with me then that means that i can act the fool i can act the donkey each and every time I am upset, you know, it's almost as if um, it's control, it's controlling the narrative, right? But how long are people going to deal with donkeys and, and fools? Not long. So be the peacekeeper. You had that card in love. All right. Yeah. Wow. I can't make this stuff up. Compassion at the bottom of the deck. It just talks about how you express your emotions. Are you a big ball of fire or are you like the... Uh, the strength card where the woman is walking with the lion. She's taming the lion. The lion is you. The lion is your ego. The lion is how you are um, you are met with uh, adversity. Are you a big ball of fire? Are you, bl you blowing up the whole house knowing that you got to go back to the house? You know, this is I idiot stuff. I'm not calling you an idiot, but idiot stuff. You know, come on. I, I feel like I can talk to you guys like that. So you got to shift something about you, Aquarius. You're a good person. You got a lot of good cards. You come with a lot of good qualities, but at the same time, nobody is perfect. Not you, not your person or per or people that you come into the reading for. But if you can change you, imagine what kind of change you'll have in your love life and your career and finance. All right. 
that's what I have for you. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Let's put some change down in the comment section. So let's put some coins down there, like, like a, you know, change that you would get back if you, you know, you, you broke a dollar bill or whatever. Put some change down there because we get ready to change because you have abundance here waiting for you. It is your destiny. It's like the universe want to give you great responsibility and career and finance. And they even want to give you love and romance. They want something to go to the next level. They want what you've been expecting. They want it to show up for you, but it won't show up until you're ready because the universe is not setting us up for failure. Okay. Um, go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two. Uh, get a deep dive reading like this so you can see what you need to change about you uh, If you really want to change there are some people who don't that's okay um, All links are below catch me live every Tuesday Thursday and Sunday night 9 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Thank you guys many blessings to you. Also just you know a note. This is 40 minutes um, if you look up in your right i know i'm saying it at the end of the reading but if you look up in your right hand corner on the video there are three dots you can um click those dots and then you can change the um speed of the video you can speed it up to where you're not spending 40 minutes on every video uh, you can spend half by speeding up two times or however you can process information but uh, you know when I look at videos that's how I look at them quickly because I don't have 40 minutes to waste um, or to spare I wouldn't say waste I just I just don't um, yeah I think I'll make a note of that like maybe I put it on this video I don't know why anyway many blessings talk to you soon